Hello, and welcome to another session of Tim's Tips. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our Battle Gear 3 adult shoulder pad. At TAG, when we develop shoulder pads, protection is our number one concern. Uh, we want to make sure that the player is safe while playing the game. But at the same time, we do understand that there are those uh, schools with tighter budgets uh, that simply can't afford our top-end pads. So we wanted to make sure to develop a pad that had a, a good price, that uh, was uh, economical, but still offered the protection that's needed out there on the field. So today, with our new Battle Gear 3 shoulder pad, we're going to talk about some of the old features that came out of the old Battle Gear that is, we brought into the Battle Gear 3, but also a lot of new and exciting features that still take this pad, even though it's a lower cost pad, still has the protection that's needed out there for your high school games. So first of all, uh, let's talk about the old features that are still in this new pad. Uh, the first one is the adjustable neck opening, which is very important. Uh, this helps the player to adjust the neck so that it fits properly on the player. Uh, number two is the uh, steel spring cantilever, which is an older technology, but still a very good technology for number one, keeping the, the pad in its shape but also with a steel spring, it keeps that pad uh, sitting correctly over the shoulder so when there's impact on the shoulder, it disperses over that entire spring causing the energy to disperse away from the player. Uh, the next uh, feature is our uh, HDOC foam. It's a dual density foam that uh, is put into the, uh, the lining with extra foam protection into the clavicle area to make sure that there's enough protection over that shoulder to absorb that impact from the hits. It's also, uh, we have uh, some soft cell uh, air management type foam for again more protection to help trap uh, the air inside that pad that'll help keep that energy away and disperse that energy away from the player. Um, we do have our sewn-in clavicle pads and deltoid pads instead of adjustable Velcro. Again, that is to help with the cost savings, but still have the protection in there for the player. It is Aegis antimicrobial treated, so you can take this uh, lining and you can uh, just un-Velcro uh, the lining out, put it in a front load washing machine. You can wash it, cold water, mild soap, let it air dry. Uh, so that the pad uh, stays in a new type condition and keeps it fresh. So now for the new features. The new features that we put into this pad is instead of it being just a flat plastic, now we've corrugated the arches, the uh, epaulets and caps to disperse even more energy away from the player. Um, we also have uh, the new swivel front, so instead of uh, having that lace and tie and a bar across the back and worrying about losing the lacing or the lacing lock breaking or something like that, you can have the swivels. But more importantly, the swivels move with the player. Uh, that helps the player to have more mobility, but also when there's an impact, the pad shifts to that part of the impact, throwing that energy away from the player. And the next thing that we've added to it is instead of our uh, lockdown strap, which uh, tends to come loose, we have a belt and buckle. So this thing can always uh, keep its exact uh, tight fit, which is very important with the player without becoming loose. And then uh, also we have put in the shorter epaulets and caps to help this pad fit in those tighter jerseys but still maintain that protection where it's needed over the shoulder. So with that, uh, we have uh, two models. We have the SP, which is this one, it's a skill position pad. And then we have the multi-position pad, which is an MP. 
uh, that particular paddle have a little longer arch for those positions that need a little longer arch while the skill position is shorter, uh, making it uh, uh, the correct pad for those type of positions. So that's our Battle Gear 3. We thank you again for visiting Tim's Tips and just want to wish your team uh, the very best luck this season and wish you a very safe and profitable season. Thank you very much again for visiting Tim's Tips.